What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Good Success Podcast. I am your host, Josh Culler, and today we got a little bit of a different setup. Uh, we got a, one camera here, so me and Nick are going to just kind of converse here and just talk to each other during this. And we have a little bit of a different type of podcast for you today. We got Nick Kutschke here. Nick, it's been a minute, dude. We it's were just been. talking about this yes. before. Yes, it's before been, the, so, been a little while. So if you guys don't know, we actually had Nick on our podcast, episode 43. It's, he was yeah. doing a book review called People by You. That's the yeah. name of the book, and we did a review with him. So if you guys um, want to go listen to that, go back episode number 43. Yeah. But Nick is, I'm going to call him an expert in health and <laughs> fitness. Appreciate right? that, Jeff. So if, if you just go on his Facebook page, you'll see it, I promise. Um, but but Nick is very knowledgeable when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to exercising, and really um, getting a workout schedule or whatever for you specifically. Um, I'm not going to try to upsell your services because <laughs> no. I don't think you're doing that anymore. You're no. just more along the lines of you're knowledgeable about it. You've had a yeah. pass with it. And I'm going to have Nick talk about that. Nick was actually a personal trainer of mine last year. He helped, helped me get my health right back on track because yep. I had gained like what 50 pounds since high school i've only been out of high school for like six years at that point and so it was it was a disgrace but nick really helped me get my um life back on track and i think it's good. extremely important to um address this because we talk about good success and how you know success good success really means the type of success you have but how are you going to get there if you're not taking care of yourself and that's why i really wanted to bring nick on the show today to talk about this because I, I again this is something that is not addressed very often not we have a couple of guys that are in our mastermind that they talk about this that they oh, okay. they're not healthy they want to lose weight yeah. or they want to have a healthier diet and the bottom line is that if you don't take care of yourself you're not going to be able to be able to perform at the mm -hmm. levels the, the best levels for you so um we're going to get back into it but um nick is actually a part of Bangor realty correct so he has had and before that he has had a lot of real estate investing experience. So mm -hmm. real estate is nothing new to Nick. So we're we're still in, we're still along the same industry here. So, um, but before we get into it, I'm gonna have Nick come back and introduce himself. I got a couple things to talk about. The first thing is the Good Success Mastermind. Um, Kevin's gonna be on the links below. So you guys check out the links when we talk about anything that we're saying is gonna be linked below. Um, so we have the Good Success Mastermind. The next event is November 8, 9, and 10. That is in Miami, Florida. And that's stacking up to be a really good event. We have a lot of uh, new attendees that are going to be enjoying there and a lot of great activities going to going to be oh, happening wow. so we're very excited about that you can go to goodsuccess.com slash mastermind to learn more about the mastermind how our community can help you with your issues opportunities and all that stuff and build your network exponentially so goodsuccess.com slash mastermind next is i have so we made this announcement last week um tom olson wrote a book so active <laughs> turnkey it's a book it's a book Active Turnkey, the best way to buy rentals. And um, we are giving this away for free. Yes, for free. So I'm actually, I got a package here because this is going to be going out today and I've got another stack over there and I still got to label some more, but um, we're shipping these out for free. So all you guys got to do is go to goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. Um, again, Kevin's going to have a link below so you can check out the link as well, but goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. You're going to pick this up for free. All we're asking you to do is cover the cost of the shipping. So we're covering the cost of the book. You cover the cost of the shipping and we will ship this out to you ASAP. It's a lot. We, we've got a lot of orders, so I'm excited about it. Um, the only thing that sucks is I have to pack them. So that's <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm not saying that you guys slow down the orders. I'm just saying like I have to pack them. So they're, they're, they get a little bit of a, a loving touch from me. So yeah, there you guys go. Um, but you guys can pick that, pick up that book at goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. And then last but not least, if you are coming by way of knowing Nick, you don't know who we are, yeah. we're Good Success. And we have the Good Success podcast that we go bi-weekly now. We used to go once a week, but now it's bi-weekly. We're starting to ramp up a lot more podcasts. Um, you guys can check us out on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and Spotify, and you guys can listen to the podcast there. We put out a lot of great content, so we're excited about that. And we get interviews on here from real estate professionals, real estate investors, um, and then centered around just your life in general. So yeah. like, just like the, the health podcast that we're about to do right now. So Perfect. without further ado, Nick, I gotta. this is going to be a really good podcast. I'm excited about this. I am too. This is when good. I this when I was putting good. together the questions, I was like, man, I really got to ask thought provoking questions. 
Some of this they were good. Some of these might slap good. some people in the face. They I might hurt me. some feelings. So <laughs> I might. So you guys just bear. I do have that personality just, style yeah, just a little yeah. bit. So just bear with us here, um, and that's okay because you need it. I need it. Everybody needs it <laughs> at some point in their life. So um, I'm actually going to uh, adjust the camera real quick because Nick is out of the frame. So you guys Nick. just hang tight here. We need to get the main event in there. All right. So. Uh, Sorry, Kevin's on the links, but he's he's busy with that. So, um, Nick, yes. do us a good, good favor. Open up a podcast. Yeah. Who you are, what you do, how long you've been doing it. Yeah. Maybe even give your background in real estate. Okay. Just so people can relate yeah. to that too. Not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah. Uh, Nick Kuchki, been uh, trying to help the right people get what they want in life. And I've been able to do that through a couple of avenues now. Uh, the first one was actually health and wellness, mm -hmm. uh, fitness enthusiast, consultant. Uh, now I just want to give back in regards to the knowledge that I've obtained over the last decade, decade now. That's, mm -hmm. it's, been able, it's been a long time. Now I can, I can do that through that, and I can also do it now through real estate as well. Over the last uh, almost five years now, I've worked with Good Success, Tom Olson, uh, a few other local investors that have been gracious enough to invest their time and their money and their effort into me. And now I'm be able to give that back uh, in ways of of working with the public and, and and investors through commercial real estate and public real estate. So awesome. That's where I've come from. Okay, so then talk about your your past with your how you've even acquired the knowledge that we're about to talk about because I like to give you a little bit of grounds and foundation okay. with that with the audience. So. Yeah, that my past it it all started when I was I was just a youngster. I, I think that's where most of our our habits come from is, is when we are young mm -hmm. and there's there's changes we don't know how but we end up becoming resourceful and make those changes happen well the, the change that I wanted to make happen you see back back when I was started playing um, like peewee football right mm -hmm. that's where it all started I had to play I think it was up two levels because I was too large <laughs> you're you're I, too big I was too big oh I goodness. was too big it was <laughs> I was I weighed like 170, 75 pounds in like sixth grade. Wow. And well, in sixth grade, you don't hit a growth boy. spurt yet. Yeah. And you, some of the other parents, they get a little yeah. conscious of like, is this kid going to hurt? Yeah. Kid. Yeah. yeah. So they had to move me up. And I under understand, well, but the self-confidence, the self-esteem that was invoked in me, it, it doesn't work well. Mm -hmm. And that prompted a whole different path. A whole, a, right, right down. I was going left and sway, boom. And now I'm looking at working out, lifting weights, being more active, running, jumping, all those things that a, a normal youngster should be doing. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's becoming a necessity rather than a want, mm -hmm. and that's that's kind of where it started. That's where it prompted moving up through the years i got into to high school and well now you want to be noticed by the you know the opposite sex yeah like it's it's normal yeah like well now i've got to work out show the guns off you know it's <laughs> you gotta you gotta get noticed right it's, it's your marketing personal marketing right and i still had that that little guy syndrome back in the day like i'm, I'm still out of shape i so I was like, well, how can, how can I make this work? Well, you got to be in the right place for, for a long enough time for things to happen. So if you go and look who's in shape, who's not in shape, well, you got to be around those people, right? Mm -hmm. you, you've got to go to, in the sense of the gym, there's uh, outdoor activities, hiking, things, things like that. Well, as long as you're around those people, you're going you're gonna to catch on. Mm -hmm. and I found a, a local gym that was willing enough to to take me in and tutor me for I, I was it was six months six months of of driving back and forth and not from just from where i live to maryville indiana but actually i took a, a longer trip down to uh to purdue west lafayette hmm. and i even did some training down there and driving back and forth every other weekend just to to get a different mindset a, 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 how it was it was taught to me it was a paradigm shift of going from who you are now to where you want to be. And for me, it was in health and wellness. I'm like, that's what I want to do. That's where I want to be. This is how it's going to work. And it was a, uh, a friend of mine, Mark Banter. He was a, a great mentor in regards to health and, and wellness. If you guys are going to prosper in any area of life, get a mentor. 
I, I know Josh, he, he's a big promoter of that, proclaims that. I, th- I think in all of good success, mastermind, we all yeah, have, definitely. have that circle of influence. Yeah. Someone's mentoring, someone's giving back. Find that person in that area of your life that you want to want to grow in mm-hmm. and help them on this. Was that one for me back? Wow, that was that was again 10, 20, 10, 15 years ago. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, where so. that was. That's how it got started. That's you know, that's it grew. Yeah, it grew. that's a really good truth to the um, uh, getting around people that you want to be like. I think yeah. that's, I mean, we talk about that all the time on the podcast about your the power of your network and yeah. you're the average of the five people that you associate with the most <laughs> really and that are. stuff. So uh, definitely, if you're around people that all they want to do is eat junk food and drink soda <laughs> and lounge around, not do anything, then that's primarily what you're going to do. It talks about in the book, um, The Compound Effect with, yep. by Darren Hardy about that. So um, let's go ahead and get into some questions here. Yeah. Some really good questions yeah, yeah, yeah. I got for you. I'm let's excited to, to get some answers. So um why is it important as an entrepreneur to keep up with your health? It's it's very it's very apparent to me just being around even guys in our mastermind. We go to all these events and yeah. stuff like that. And this is one of the biggest things personally that they struggle with next to like family matters and, you know, um, marriages, kids, like that kind of struggle. Health is definitely at the top of that uh, that issue list. So why is it so important? First of all, like why is it so difficult for entrepreneurs to take care of their health? And then why is it so important to do that? Typically what I've found over my working with thousands of people mm-hmm. in regards to health and wellness is they don't see it being an issue until it's an actual issue. Yeah, okay. And they, they'll, they'll procrastinate. The, the, Imagine that. <laughs> if, if, it was, if it was easy, everyone would do it in, in regards to that. Yeah. But if, if you don't, if you don't take that initiative, if it's not a habit set in the beginning, now it's not necessarily as important. And when it becomes, becomes important, normally it is, is too late, like I said. Yeah. It's, it's hard. It's hard. I, I, I get it. There's, there's families. There's, there's things that people take priority in, the things they have to do, the loved ones that they care about, friends, family, going out to eat, all those things. Are important. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to take any of the importance away from those things. But for those things to happen, the number one asset for it to work, for you to be around, is you. Hmm. If you do not take care of you, number one, no one else can benefit. It, 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 it's that. That's powerful. It's that, that simple. Yeah. Because if you even if you have a purpose, if you have a purpose in life, something that you're trying to achieve. Okay, so like for instance, Tom, we're trying to flip the entire city of Gary and we're making like strides in that. But if Tom doesn't take care of himself, it's going to be so much more. Yeah. It's going to be so much more difficult. Same thing for anybody else that's involved for myself. I'm involved in that pretty heavily. And so if I don't take care of myself, you know, I, I mean, I do all the operations. I host the podcast. If I'm like lethargic while I'm hosting the podcast, even something simple like that. Right. Or worse, or, or you let your, your health decline so much that now you've, you've, stimulated yourself into regards to being tied to maybe a hospital bed mm. if, if you let it go that right. far right or you're going to be on medications or there's there's doctor's visits that are taking away you like, say so- that okay so for for instance a couple of weeks ago i came down with a cold mm-hmm. i was out for like three days and Correct. it yeah. it butchered my productivity in Good success, and it was terrible. And that was because I didn't take care of my. I wasn't proactive about taking care of my health. I wasn't doing vitamins. I wasn't doing, you know, whatever I needed to do to take care of my my illness. I felt the sore throat. I started yep. sneezing. I didn't do anything about it. Woke up the next morning like barely able <laughs> yeah. to move. Like, <laughs> and so I wasn't able to produce at that point. In regards to production, let's let's take a professional athlete because a lot of the guys that we're on on stage with that we're communicating with. These are professional investors. Right. Let's take take that spectrum, put it on professional athletes. If professional athletes were to treat their bodies the same way that, in a sense, an investor would, mm-hmm. they're not going to perform. They're not going to get the yardage. They're not going to get the, the touchdowns. They're not going to get all of those things that pronounce them as, proclaim them as good athletes yeah. if, if they're not healthy. Yeah. I, I want that same perspective for our investors because they can do so much more. You can give back more. You can invest more. You can grow so much more when you're healthy in regards to when you're not. 
Hmm. That's how I see it. That's treated just the same. Treated just the same. Right. So then what's a good place for somebody to start? So if it, okay, so if an entrepreneur, because I hear this all the time, especially when we're going through somebody's issues during the mastermind or whatever, and we we say, hey, you need to be in the gym like X X amount of times per day or (laughs) X amount of days. And then, you know, the the length, half an hour or whatever that you're in the gym or even just start eating healthier. And we have a lot of guys that travel a lot. Like, and in in these circles that we're in, and you know, I can see that a lot of, there's a lot of traveling that that goes down. So if somebody were to say, Nick, I don't have the time, I don't have the resources to be able to work out or to exercise or to eat healthy while I'm on the road or whatever, what? let's start with the exercising because I think that's that's like kind of segues into the actual eating, okay. like the healthier eating. So somebody tells you that, what's your initial response? You're a liar. You're lying. You're lying. <laughs> you're a liar. Literally, you're, you're a liar. liar. <laughs> yep. that, that's exactly how I see it. Yeah. Anyone can do anything in this life. We've got the internet. We've got people around you that, that if you don't know the answers, you've got Google. If Google doesn't know the answers, someone around you has that answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In regards to the exercise, making time for it, th- there's no excuse. People make time for what's priority for them. And mm-hmm. I understand there's typically a, there's top five priority. I get it. But make you one of those top five priority. And when you do those things, you take the time to go work out. You take the time to go eat. You take the time to go in and zen or, or be mindful and, yeah. and, and give back to yourself in those in that regard. Hmm. You have to. You have to, you have to, you have to. In regards to the food, that's that's a whole That's whole a different ballgame. That's, game that's that. another ball <laughs> game. But the thing is, it's the same premise is you're just lying maybe to yourself or everyone around you but the truth is you're not there's plenty of resources you're just not being resourceful enough Hmm. you've there's there's meal planning which is you can do it at home i love meal planning meal plan it's it's so awesome take a weekend take saturday or sunday plan it sunday night yep get it get it done another thing is there's so many companies out here and there's a lot of investors on the go. I get that. Yeah. Get those meals on the go with you. You can order meals, have them show up to you at your home or wherever you're gonna be. There's there's local companies all over America, <laughs> all over the world that, hey, I need meals. I want healthy meals, like Freshly, for instance. Yeah, Great, freshly, yeah. delicious home-cooked meals sent to you. There's also Instacart. There's, there's so many so right. many companies that right. can get you food just you need to make it your priority how much a priority is it to you so what's your favorite quote the uh about preparation you tell me this all the time <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite quote is failing to prepare is preparing to fail mm-hmm. with with everything in life if you fail to pray or prepare for your for your job for your in a sense significant other for any, anything that you care about, it, it's it's going to do well once you prepare for it. Mm-hmm. But if you do lack thereof, and now you're in a reactive state, you're letting life happen to you rather than for you. Mm. It, it gets it gets that's, tough. That's a big one. That's a big one. Letting life happen to you instead of for you, and it I think that begins with health. It does because if your body, like I even said, a simple cold because I I didn't take care of my body. Mm-hmm put me out of commission for three days. And I'm like, man, that's not good because I can't afford to miss three days of work. Like, it's just, that's just how it is, you know? Um, Yeah, I I love that. Preparation is huge too. I'm so big on that, absolutely. Correct. Because I know that for me, when I, before before I even, um, and it's one of the reasons why I even uh, talked to you about becoming my personal trainer a, a year ago. One of the biggest things for me was I just, wasn't making time for it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you remember this in our oh, initial completely. conversation. I'm completely. like, completely. like Nick, I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have, I don't you have time to do my meal prep. Listen, <laughs> listen, I to. am far more busy than I was a year ago. Yes. Because good success is growing big now. I even have you know a, a lot of other, um, a lot of, a lot of other things that are going on too, and I'm far more busy. But I found that because I made it a priority, mm-hmm. it's getting done. 
And right. it's actually so one one little thing that I do that Nick's very proud of me for is <laughs> um, so working out in the morning. That's what I do. Like I, I, I have I don't go to the gym anymore. I have a treadmill. I have free weights and everything. I even Good heard t- people tell me that it's more, it's difficult to do that at home. I find it a lot more easy to do it because I don't have to make the 20 minute trip to the gym and 20 minute trip back Everyone, to the gym. Everyone's gonna justify it whatever side of the okay. <laughs> so, so I'm good. <laughs> okay. So I but I do that in the morning. Yeah. You know, after I eat breakfast, I sit down and meditate. That mm-hmm. that allows my food to digest, and then I go. Okay. And then I go do my little exercising. I'm not and Nick knows I'm not into like trying to bulk up and you know do extreme stuff. I'm not looking to spend an hour and a half to two hours in the gym that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I am getting my workouts done. I'm kicking butt while I'm doing it. And then Sunday nights is all meal prep. So for three hours, I do meal prep, breakfast and lunch. And go. it's for the entire week up to the next Sunday. So, uh, well, I should say Saturday because Sundays we eat breakfast and lunch at, at my okay. church. And so um, that uh, preparation is huge when it comes to eating healthy. Because I yeah. find if I don't eat, if I if I don't prep, yeah. I'm eating whatever is in eyesight. <laughs> like, Correct. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't matter reactive. what it is. React. Whatever's re- around you, you be, it, it's almost like a bomb that just explodes, and you just it's try to so touch true. everything around you. Yeah. Just let me have it. But if you've got everything that you've set in place for your success around you, well, then you're gonna. And you know what I think is funny is because a lot of entrepreneurs are so focused on operations and and Correct. making sure that things get done correctly. A lot of a lot of our listeners are probably rehabbers, and so they oh, yeah. prep for all of that. And Tom even has a talk about prep, P R E P, and we don't we focus on that, the business. Correct. But then we don't do anything for ourselves, for our bodies, for our for our health. Like, why is that so overlooked with people? It, is it because they're not preparing or is it because they don't care or they don't have time or I know we've even established already that you do have the time that you do you're a liar Everyone, so yeah, correct. <laughs> if, correct. You, if you if you have that that thought in mind then you're a liar but why why are people so not focused on their health a, a lot of times what I found is that it, it's it's fear unfortunately that drives people to do the things that they do if it's lack of money if it's lack of love life if it's lack of and resources people are going to go do certain things a certain way because mm. they have a lack of mm. now yeah. when you have a lack of health the only way you can catch up is by exercising or worse you have to go to the doctor or, th- or things of that nature you you have to now you've got to catch up yeah like when you were sick now you've got to stop yeah catch go up get, go, those three days like get, get medication go go buy it go spend extra money that you necessarily didn't have to or didn't yeah. want to you could have spent somewhere else that could push propelled you forward in life i understand people are getting sick and things like that but you should prepare for those things right but for going back to that actual why is it so hard is because we don't see it an issue until it's an actual issue hmm. after that after you realize but once you get bad. there but once you get there it's almost like now it's even more difficult to get back to where you want to go it, it's the habits it, it's we through life you, you've you gotten habits all along to, until now it just have we've all got there's no good habit there's no bad habit we just have habits hmm. and in in regards to food we've We've naturally gravitated towards. I want to. I want to get what's easy, what's right in front of me, what's right now. Well, anything that comes easy is is hard later. What's hard now is easy later. If you develop those habits of, in the morning instead of grabbing a, a donut, well, substitute it. Grab it. Grab an apple with it, and then you can literally just substitute things out uh, with the coffee. You got the cream and the sugar, all those things. Hey, that's that's fine. Start substituting some things out. Maybe a stevia, or maybe just a water instead. Maybe a hot tea, and start changing those habits around. It's mm-hmm. it's those those little things that can you start involving and start just move the pieces. You're, you're still playing the game, but you, now you're just moving the pieces just a little bit differently. Right. right. So then along that same line. What are some things that people can start doing like right now? As soon as they are done listening to the podcast, because we don't want them to click off the podcast right now. <laughs> as soon as they're done listening to the podcast, what are some things that people, you talked about food. So Correct. let's talk about exercising then. What are some things okay. that people can do to be proactive right now 
to actually get into exercising. And, and, and I'm sure people are li- like, Correct. they're listening. They're like, Nick, don't tell me to go to the gym right now for an hour because I'm not going to do it. Yeah. No, don't do that. So what would you That'll say? That'll hurt. That'll definitely hurt. <laughs> so what would you say? The first, the first thing I would say is to take inventory, be self-aware of where you are at right now. Hmm. If you've never run in your life before ever, don't go run a marathon. If you've never lifted a weight, don't get under a bench. Understand where you're at and then go from there. If you need to, I, I like to live 1% better every day. Just one thing better every day. If it's getting up and walking 10 minutes just on a treadmill, mm-hmm. awesome. The next time you do it, maybe do 10 minutes and 30 seconds. And as long as you continually do that day in and day out and understand that to make progress, you've got to move, do those things. That's the first thing. It's just understanding where you're at and then take one step forward. Hmm. For some people, that one step is going to the gym. That one step is just waking up earlier or preparing a meal or just being conscious that health is a priority. Right. As, As long as you understand its involvement in every area of your life. That's where I would necessarily start. Um... Another big one. It, say you're a little bit farther along. Let's count calories. Well, Nick, that's going to take time. That's going to take effort. That's going to take money. Well, let's. You take the ca- time to count your money. <laughs> what about taking time to count your health? You know what's funny is that I come. Okay, so hold that thought because okay. I'm going to compliment you with yes. this. So, one one quote that I heard. I don't even remember where I heard it from. Is. Um, Pay for, pay for your okay. So you talk about money; it's it's kind mm-hmm. of expensive. Pay for healthy foods now, or pay for your medical bills later. Correct. Tenfold, yes, yes, yes tenfold, yes. yes. Because yes, yes, if yes. you don't take care of your body now, it's you're going to get repercussions later on. Correct. I mean, sooner, like you're yeah, you're going to start feeling it. If you if you eat a donut right now, you're going to feel it in about half an hour. Correct. But later on down the road, 10, 15, 20 years from now. You're going to be hit with medical bills because you're unhealthy. It was it was when I was in working in the gym that it, it, it was very sales driven. And one of the our main drivers was our main quotes, have you, is I'm glad I did or I wish I had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now you can take this podcast and take all the information that we just gave you. And you can go down either direction. I'm glad I listened or I wish I had. Hmm. Now it's just up to you which side of the spectrum you want to be Interesting. on. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That was that was, that, that was my one of my biggest take backs. That's a heavy hitter. I wish I had. We're probably gonna create a short podcast out of that or a quote for you, so <laughs> be on the lookout for that one. That was good. Yeah. Um, okay, so coming down the stretch here, we got just a couple more quick questions for yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, this has been a really good podcast. A lot of information that's good. been thrown at everybody. Good. I, I want to encourage people to make sure, and I know that you're looking at me, you're like, Josh, you're 25. You can handle this. <laughs> so, because I get that all the time. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what? It's it, the amount of the, the, the busyness of my life is, and I'm not trying to like, you know, say, you know, I don't, I, I have an excuse because I had, I had excuses when I was less busy. Correct. And since I made it a priority, you know, just the fact that I gained 50 pounds straight out of high school within like five and a half, six years is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and I really got back on track and I even noticed myself. And I, I think you remember that when I'm, I, me and Nick sat across from each other in offices <laughs> at, at, in a previous life and at around three o'clock, 2.30 or three, I would experience a crash every yep. single that. day. Every single day, I would be on my computer doing this, you know, just just dozing off. And it, it was because I found as soon as I started working out, as soon as I started eating healthier, that's when I stopped. That The crashes stopped. It was incredible. And what I even noticed is that I was sleeping more during that time than I am now. Back then, I was sleeping anywhere from 8 to 10 hours a night. Yep. So I'd go to bed at like 9 o'clock, which is crazy. And then I'd wake up, you know... 15 minutes before I got to go to work, <laughs> throw the clothes on, and yeah. um, and I would I would be still exhausted, and now I'm like exactly I'm I'm very I'm very uh, habit driven, very um, routine oh, yeah. routine like so morning and night routines, but 
I, it, it's anywhere from seven to seven and a half hours of sleep is what I require Good. now, yeah. which is less than what I was getting. But now I'm eating healthier. Now I'm working out more and exercising. And I'm, guys, I'm not doing like crazy workouts where I'm bulking up and getting ready for a show or whatever. But I don't get those crashes anymore. Like zero. Like I'm, I'm driven the entire day. Like I'm going to a, a conference later on tonight and I'm going to be out till probably, I don't know, 9.30 or 10 networking. Yeah. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be like driven the entire time that I'm there. I'm going to be on a flight. I'm going to, but I'll be okay. It's because I'm taking care of my health though. Great. So yeah. one question I want to slip in here is <clears throat> for somebody, and, and I have, I have a rebuttal for this too. So somebody that's a little older than what I am or what you okay. are. Okay. Says, Nick, I, I'm, I'm 45, 50 years old. I'm a little... I, I'm I'm a little brittle. Okay. I can't really work out that much. I can't lift weights and that kind of thing. I mean, he already kind of gave you an answer, but what would you say to somebody like that? And in regards to that, I actually have we or we have a mastermind member okay. who's in his late eighties, Quincy okay. Long, with Quest IRA. Cool. He has Parkinson's. Okay. And is one of his primary goals from last quarter was okay. to work out for thirty minutes a day. <laughs> and he, just, just, got, just, just the fact that he has the goal, and he is one of the well, he is one of the wealthiest people in our mastermind, and has the biggest business by far in our mastermind, and he's still able to do that. So, what would you say to somebody that is maybe later on in their years, okay, and is wanting to do, wanting to take care of their health more? Where would they start? Where would they start? Well, the the first part is just to have the goal, like Quincy does. Yeah, you work out thirty minutes a day. Sometimes it, it's not like that. Sometimes it's just getting up out of a chair. Sometimes it's just getting rid of those bad habits. Maybe it's maybe it's like smoking or thing. Just quitting, quitting those things, quitting those bad habits that can directly and indirectly affect the longevity of your life. Hmm. If say now we're taking exercise for instance, say they need to go to a gym, or maybe that's not a, not effective. Walk, you can walk through your house. You can get up, stand up, go gardening. All those things that you, you've put you've, you've the honey do list. Right. Go go do those things, and and not stop. Go go through it. Go, take the time to go do those things and understand how you're feeling. Understand the muscles that hurt. Like oh wow, that that's a feeling I haven't felt in a while. Mm-hmm. Understand it. If it does, I'm not I'm not saying to to wimp out, but sometimes we need to persevere through those things for. For every level, there's another level. Well, like, like you said, you need, it's self awareness, right? Yeah, you you got to be self aware of where you you're at, and you, you know, do. if you're if you're 70 years old and you've got a knee replacement, and like you're not gonna go hella skiing, you know? right? <laughs> so no, it's like you, you got to be self aware about it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's I, I think because the compound effect is definitely a huge factor in like well the the statement compound effect, but obviously the book <laughs> talks about this a lot. Yeah. Where you just you like you said you start from. Number one, and then you Correct. go, and then every day you say one percent better. That compounds over time. A hundred days is a hundred percent better than you were a hundred days ago. Literally, that's Literally. awesome. I, I I love that. That's fantastic. So Nick, we're gonna wrap this up. I got I slipped that one question in there real quick because okay. it kind of just came to my mind, and I'm like, man, I, I realize I'm 25. You're yeah. 30. 30. 30. I literally just turned 30. Yeah. Happy birthday, belated birthday. Thank I know I wish you a birthday, thank you, thank you. but it's okay. <laughs> um, but you know, we look at us, and we're we're a little bit younger than some people, m- most people that are listening to our podcast, and they're like, "Hey, you guys are young. You, just, <laughs> you could do that." But um, well, I wanted to address that. Well, so. there, there's a there's a second spectrum, the, the other side. It, you could make it all about you, in in regards to investing in yourself. But what about the other people that are around you? Hmm. Do you want to be able to touch their lives, be in their lives longer? Or do you not want to be? Interesting. Like, yeah. do, you, do you love yourself or do you love them enough to invest in yourself? That, do you? Like, I, I don't I don't know what kind of price you, or or value you put on, in a sense, say, a, your recent fiance. What, what, what kind of value do you want to add to them? What kind of value do you want to add to your circle of influence? What kind of value do you want to add to, in a sense, the people that we meet on a regular basis? Do you care enough to take care of yourself for them, yourself, or or those we haven't met yet? That's yeah, absolutely. So, do you think that the statement's true that you, in order to take care of other people, you have to take care of yourself you can't first? Can't pour from an empty cup. Mm. 
That's good. You really can't pull Absolutely. from the makeup. Fantastic. So, a couple quick questions. Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. Um, second to last question, we ask everybody this. I love okay. hearing the answers because cool. every single answer is always different from a different perspective. So, um, wrapping this up, if you guys are joining us Facebook Live, we appreciate you joining us live. Thank and if you're you, listening you. to the podcast, make sure you subscribe to us <laughs> and give this thumbs up. Leave comments below, share it around. Uh, so good success means a lot to us. So, you know, the entire good success team, of course, uh, we have our own thoughts and opinions about it. Episode 100 was all about, we had the entire team in here and we talked about what good success means to us. So from your perspective, you've been around it a little bit mm-hmm. and you, you understand what we're shooting for, but from yep. your perspective specifically, what does good success, the phrase actually mean to you? Good success. Now I, I've, I, I, I knew that question was coming up. So I've actually got two answers. Let's do it. Okay, two <laughs> answers for that. The first one is I see I see it collectively as a group of extraordinary individuals that through mm-hmm. real estate, they invest in the prosperity of their niche, of their neighborhood, and in their nation. Interesting. Yeah. That's literally how I see because you guys are touching not only just people in, in this town, this city, then there's Gary, Indiana, which is going to be an extraordinary, in a sense, conduit to everyone around. Yeah. And then there's also the masterminds that are placed, people that are placed all over the country. <laughs> and then all those people are, are, are touching other people in the country yeah. and the nation. So it's it's definitely a worldwide awesome. touch. Yeah. Uh, that, that's where I see it in regards to the group. In regards to good success, though, it's understanding that your work isn't gonna get you so far. There was a, a long time ago. There's a friend of mine, John Carlo. He 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 says you're gonna you're gonna do well because you work hard, but you can do ten times better if you bring God along the way. Hmm. And that stuck with me so much. He actually he he was he he told me he's like if you've ever noticed when I'm walking, I'll literally grab grab behind me. Because he's grabbing for the hand of God to walk with him as he goes down his purpose. Hmm. And for me, I'm like, wow, how? To have that kind of relationship, to move forward in in that perspective. uh, It's it's another level. It is, yeah, totally. And and the quote that he gave me is like, you can work like it depends on you and pray like it depends on God. And that stuck with me. And for me, taking him understanding that he is there, that you're going to be developing, understanding, recognizing, and developing that relationship with him in your purpose. That's what I see good good success as. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. I love it. Um, See, that's why I like asking the questions because I've never, (laughs) nobody's even said anything like that. So that's that's awesome. Uh, So then, last thing that we got here, and then we're going to let you go, Nick. It's been an awesome podcast. Appreciate you being on the show today. Oh, of course. Um, We missed you, and we're going to have you back soon eventually. um, (laughs) Maybe maybe 80 episodes sooner. It'd be great. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, We'll we'll work on it. We'll make sure we do it. So, last thing that we got here, want to leave the audience with one thing, whether it's a quote, a statement, a thought. No matter what it is, just one thing you gotta leave the audience with, what would that be? One of my greatest feats in life is to help people become healthy, wealthy, and wise. Mm. From today, I want you to take all of this knowledge to be wise and invest your wealth in your health. That's literally it. Now, now at the end of this podcast, mm. you've got typically two things you can do because failure is not an option. You've got you can act or you can ask. You can some of the, some of our listeners, some of our viewers, they know all of these things that we've gone. Mm-hmm. They just don't want to do it. Yeah. So you can yeah, you can li- you can literally go and act now. Like let this be a prompt for you to to go yeah. back to the gym, to back to eating healthier, to to going back to investing in number one you. Go do those things, mm-hmm. or. If you don't know, ask. Feel free, email me, nick at bangorility.com. If you have any questions, reach out to myself, reach out to Josh, we are all connected. Act or ask, just don't do anything. Yeah. 
Absolutely. That's, that's literally it. That, that's awesome. One of the quotes that we actually posted on our social media the other day was uh, we had Jeff Johnson on here from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, this was episode 90 something, I believe. I think it was 95. And he even mentioned, he talked about networking and how mm -hmm. he, when he first got into it, he was a little scared talking to okay. people. But then he said, one of the pieces of advice that he gave was, don't be afraid to tell people you don't know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. And that's health and fitness can be some, that area where people scary. are like, I don't have cl a clue what I'm supposed to eat. Like, I don't know the ingredients in this thing. I don't know what exercises I'm going to be able to do to actually make myself better. Reach out to Nick. He just gave yeah. his email reach, address. Reach we'll, um, we'll actually link that below for you so yeah. that you guys can reach out to him. But reach out. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it, Nick. Thank yeah. you so much for being on the show Thank today. Um, and we appreciate you guys joining us. If you are live on Facebook, we appreciate you joining us. If you don't know who we are, you're coming by way of knowing Nick, then we appreciate you. What's going uh, on, guys? Watching and listening. Yeah, just say, say, hey to your, <laughs> say hey to your posse. Hey <laughs> awesome. So that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Uh, good success, mastermind. Goodsuccess.com slash mastermind. You guys can check it out. We've talked about it a little bit on the show today, uh, some of the members that are a part of that. But then if you guys are interested about the mastermind, go to goodsuccess.com slash mastermind. Kevin's going to have a link below so you guys can check that out. The next event is November 8, 9, and 10 in Miami, Florida. We got a really awesome uh, that yeah, good. in November. That that's good. awesome. We're not... We're not about oh, the life vacation. of having it in okay, here. Okay, a little vacation. <laughs> so, Call it a mastermind, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah exactly. I get it. We're, I get we're, it. we're taking a boat tour with it, oh. whatever, you know. <laughs> so um, you guys can go check that out. Again, that's goodsuccess.com slash mastermind. And then also, I'm going to reach down here. So we have the uh, Active Turnkey book I talked about at the beginning of the episode. So Tom Olson wrote this book called Active Turnkey, The Best Way to Buy Rentals. And it's all about creating financial freedom through real estate. And so um, this is the active turnkey model is actually trademarked by Tom Olson. He wrote this book for you guys specifically and he's giving it away for free. He says that I'm giving it away for free because he's, yeah. So anyway, but, but we're giving it away for free. All we're asking you to do is cover shipping costs. You can go to goodsuccess.com slash ATK book. ATK as an active turnkey. We'll have it linked below. Pick up your copy there, just cover shipping and then we'll have this shipped out to you for free. Free. The only thing is Tom asks you that if we're going to send you one, make sure you read it and let us know how it is. So that's going to do it. Thanks. Make sure you subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and Spotify. Leave us a review. We would appreciate you if you do that. And in the words of Tom Olson, be a conduit, not a bucket. Thank you guys for listening, and we'll catch you on the next one.